is Empress. So what are my dreams for 2021? Hmm, to rule the world. But in the meantime, let's get to it! I'm a good girl, be in the family. Do you think you can keep up with me? Up all day, all up all night. All night. Hey, you can be my baby. I make it feel, feel alright. All right. I'm ready to take this Madonna experience. I said I want to start from the beginning because I'm like, yo, I need to understand how we got to erotic, erotic, put your hands all over my body. Okay, how did we get there? So, I want to start from the jump. First and foremost, I have to start this video off by thanking everybody who took this journey with me track by track, little interviews, even demo by demo. Mm. Thank you guys. I love you all. And you guys are the coolest, right? Domo arigato. Okay, turn up. All right, guys. So let's get into this 1983 Madonna album entitled Madonna. <laughs> and saw the video of Burning Up. Mm -hmm. And somehow I, helping programming Countdown, never considered it. Mm -hmm. Last night, it won me more than holiday. Really? Yes. It's crazy to me to know like people were sleeping on burning up. It's crazy for me to know people were sleeping on the Madonna 83 album. Her producers from this first album, the songs are catchy from the jump. They come on with a nice little beat, right? A nice little groove you get into. So I could definitely see her being like a dance artist because all these songs make me want to dance. Hey, I just like her swag so much. Her swag is just different. Just for what I know, like 80s artists, particularly in the early 80s, particularly white women in the early 80s, Madonna just had a different kind of swag, a little sauce to it. Madonna. If you were to ask me, you know, how I would describe Madonna, I would say provocative, hard worker, ambitious. For the new year, what do you hope will happen not only in 1984, but for the rest of your professional life? What are your dreams? What's left? Mm, to rule the world. There you go. Kicked off 1984. Prophesied to rule the world. History says that's correct. Hi. Like her body language is so kind of like just young, uh, very youthful, new. <laughs> well, when I was growing up, all the Motown music I listened to, Diana Ross was a real big inspiration for me. And right now, I think probably Michael Jackson is the biggest inspiration for me. The success of Thriller. What artist still doesn't want that? Literally fly in two minutes' time. That's right. You've got to be away to get to his. <laughs> he can't go yet. I'm just about to introduce your record. Thank you very much indeed, Madonna. Man, Madonna, like, dude, I gotta go. I gotta go catch that flight. Yes. <laughs> Young fly, Madonna. So, Madonna was basically an 80s influencer. Tell me, what was it like uh, when you came to New York for the first time about five years ago? Yeah, well, I got off the airplane and I had $35 in my pocket and my belly slippers. And I'd never driven in a taxi cab before, so it was all a new experience for me. Taxi cab driver just dropped me off in the middle of the city, which I requested. And it was an overwhelming experience. Respect. <laughs> I never really heard an artist like, can these songs die down, please, so my new stuff can come out. That's cool. <laughs> this is my brother Christopher. He's also part of my big family, and he dances with me. And it was like a fling. It was like love at first sight, and it and it left as soon as it came in. Contrast. We're here at Justine's in New York City. This lovely lady here is Madonna. She's had she has so many hit records out. She had everybody. She had physical attractions. Ooh, Madonna with glasses. Okay. My mother time. wouldn't let me have chewing gum, so I'd scrape it off the sidewalk outside. I w I'm out to do something, and I'm going to do what I have to get there. Her level of confidence is like out of this world. I think this is the most controversial part that we've gotten to with this album. People thought Madonna was black. Madonna modeled her sound after Motown music. Groups such as the Supremes, the Shirelles, Martha Reeves, and the Vandellas. I think that a lot of people at first, before they see what I look like, think maybe possibly that I'm a black singer. And um, I think it's a surprise when they finally do see what I look like, but I think it's a pleasant surprise. And that sort of defines different category for me, which is what I set out to do in the first place. 
interesting, interesting. So finally, I hear from the woman herself now. Because I know, y'all know, if y'all been participating in this Madonna journey, that's all what's been talking about in the comments. A lot of you guys would tell me, a lot of those early records, you thought Madonna was black. And I was at first, I was like, no, nah, because, you know, I know Madonna, duh. So I'm like, y'all thought Madonna was black, really? But then, in just listening to the records, taking away the visual, I could totally see it, right? I think her word choice is interesting as well. A pleasant surprise. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I don't know how to take that. But I will say that... I, I will say that her being white with a black sound definitely helped her. So that's why I ask, who is Madonna? Because if I'm that far behind, I'm not acknowledging a talent that I think now is a talent. Mm -hmm. wow. Then there's something wrong with me as well. There is. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised? I mean, you could be c categorized at the moment as being like this dance come disco queen, I guess. I could if that's all I was. So what are you then? First question again. <laughs> I'm um, a singer. And I'm a obviously performer. a songwriter. Also listen to artists that have worked with Madonna. So shout out to the background. Y'all know I stay shouting out the background. Shout out to the background. They're killing it. They ain't got through ain't nothing going on but the rent. Bill collectors at my door. Whoa, whoa. What can you do for me? Shout out to the writers. Madonna's then boyfriend at the time, Jelly Bean, was of course like remixing the tracks for Madonna 83. He was cool with Curtis Hudson and his wife who were in this group called Pure Energy. Boom. So they had a song that they wrote. It was called Holiday. Y'all know the song. Holiday. Celebrate. Okay. So they wrote the song and he heard it and by way like Madonna heard it. Madonna knew the song was fired, which it is. So she like, hmm. You know, she probably speak talk to be like, hey baby, you gotta get me this song. Like for real. Okay, like high key. You gotta get it. So, so, boom. Jelly B made it work. Boom. Got the song from them. Now, this is one of the, the good songs. This kind of reminded me like years ago when Future had racks on racks on racks. And he gave the song to the artist. Um, Dang, what's that dude's name? I can't even remember the dude's name. But y'all know the song. Racks on racks on racks. Anyway, everybody's like, Future, you really gonna give him like your best song? Future's like, it's all good. I got more. These folks had the same attitude, like, it's all good, we got more, boom. So they give it to young Madonna. And even the dude that she had a little short fling with that she put on at the Borderline video. Yeah, wasn't feeling it. <laughs> wow, was that Madonna with the shortcut? Okay. <laughs> I really want to get a sense of who Madonna is was at that time in 1983 where she came from her struggles that kind of ambition is born from somewhere right it's not born from somebody who is handed a silver spoon so i really want to know you know what was this lady really going through so i had to listen to the demos all right guys so i know some of you guys are probably so over me like oh what is this girl doing can she get back into the 83 madonna album yes i'm gonna do that Every time I think I'm about to do it, somebody sends me up like a recommendation. It's called Safe Neighborhood. But then other people refer to it as shit on the ground. And I'm like, shit on the ground? <laughs> Duh, I gotta listen to that song, right? <laughs> Madonna, young vocals, right? She sounds really young. <laughs> I'm loving it, all right? Ain't no big deal to say my love Boy, she sounds like so young, right? Ain't no big deal to say my love is real. But in this youngness, like you hear that hunger in the vocal. First of all, I can't even imagine Madonna in a group. She just seems so much bigger. Like her energy is just so much bigger than a group, let alone a band. I understand she even played the drums. I'm like, oh wow, interesting. So let's see if it make us get up. <laughs> and you look in the mirror at my hazy. It's too funky. For real, this should have legit been on the album. Like, I was mad, ain't no big deal. Uh, uh, ain't no big thing. I was mad that wasn't on the album. But this song, don't you know? Man, don't you know this should have been on the album? Let's go. Oh, you, you make my life just right, baby.
Money. She about her bag. She don't play. Y'all said she was out here hustling. Boom. Album doing so good. She ready to drop the new one. Because again, we learned with these demos. She had been sitting on these maybe two or three years. Doing movies. Vision Quest and Desperate Seeking Susan. I give them the recap of where I've been this Madonna journey. I know some of you guys are like, what is she doing? Demos, please. When are you going to get to the next album? Like a Virgin. Boom. Okay, I'm going to get to Like a Virgin. But we got to discuss. What did I ultimately think about the album? And... If you guys agree with me or not. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> Even though the album is like deeply rooted into the 80s sound, it still sounds fresh today just because you can kind of feel, at least for my opinion, you can feel Madonna's excitement and anticipation and hopefulness that this album is going to take off. Which it did. <laughs> These hard candy ships out here clout chasing, but I actually see now Madonna was a part of the culture and about the culture, so... Oh, shut my mouth. <laughs> Madonna 1983. Fresh, ambitious, and street. Alright. Now let's get into the top video. <laughs> this video is reminding me that like all of the icons had to get a start somewhere. All of the icons had like a humble beginning. Like to see Madonna, two background dancers up in the club on the stage dancing. <laughs> about that shoulder bob yo that junk is going hard the swaying is going exactly <laughs> favorite part of lucky star is when the video first starts and she that little cross cross dance you do a little pose and she wink <laughs> that's cool that's cool i like that and i like you could just feel again like her energy uh she gave a lot of personality and a lot of looks a lot of looks <laughs> Okay, so let me talk about y'all girl with Donna. So, man, she knew how to use them aesthetics really well, man. She she knew how to work that camera. And, like, look at her, like, right now, boom, this freeze frame, right? Look at her eyes. There's just something about that draw you in. And then the, the line she just said, I put myself in this position. <laughs> like, but she said it all tough. And she looking at you like... Just looking at you like I ain't about to back down for what I'm saying. So I see at the end of the video, she's the one driving off in his car, smiling, right? She did that little, ah, oh, yeah, flex on him, okay? You love me. <laughs> <laughs> see, okay, now he like, ah, oh, girl, I'm off of you. You think you about to come back on the block and try to kiss me? Ah, I'm gone. <laughs> For real, this slip reminds me of like mahogany, right? Isn't just the story, right? Tracy Wood at the ghetto, then Brian see her on the magazine cover, he's like, oh wow, I lost my girl. This dude the same way, but don't know the cover gloss, right? He's like, oh wow, I lost my girl. But it's like he didn't. You just can't do what he can do. It's nothing I don't love about the video, from the plot to the fashion, just everything. Madonna's swag is really on full display here relatable uh, yeah she just seemed cool so borderline definitely my favorite video from the madonna 1983 album so now let's talk about ooh, what y'all came here for the raking of the suns we gonna do it from least favorite to favorite all right so my least favorite song i think y'all all can say it right now i know it <laughs> This is one, mm, I'm gonna skip it, right? Uh, not adding it to the playlist. Uh, album filler. Uh, better demos. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I would have put Stay on this album. Stay, the demo goes pretty hard. 
But you guys tell me that that's a surprise for the next album, like a virgin album. So I can't wait to hear how it was redone on that album. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, number eight, I know it. <laughs> this song is fire already. It's simple, but it's already catchy. Holiday, celebrate. <laughs> Feel good. Let's go. Today. Holiday is a good song. This is a good album. So the song choices are very hard to put in order. But for my preference, um, Holiday wouldn't be a song I listen to like every day. But it's still a great song. I love it. What you do to me, baby? You know. Ooh, but anyway, she sings both high and low throughout the song because those verses, you must be my lucky star. <laughs> yeah, high and like high. <laughs> and then that, ooh, what you do to me, baby? Ooh, ooh. I, I get I just love that. That's a good ad lib, period. She could have made a whole song, what you do to me, baby? She started, in my opinion, was like the pop song on this album. Um,. Just listen to some of the songs I'd order, which I did at first. Um, it was kind of like, ah, oh, my, my, my street girl leaving me. <laughs> so, Lucky Star, again, not a bad song. But it gotta go somewhere. So now we're getting into the top five of the album. Hey. <laughs> yeah, this song already sound like Jerry Curl, Drippin', uh, Low Rider doing what it do hydraulics you know <laughs> like skate party like i like this part right here this the part like first of all everything about this song is like street but this the part that's really like come on da, 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 is like um i don't know how to describe it. i don't know if it's like the reverb they use but that part of the song particularly sounds like real street early hip-hop <laughs> So I'm done already with the sex appeal. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I was going against the street. Hey. Come on. Everybody. <laughs> the thing I like about this song the most is like just that youthfulness. Like her voice, she sounds very young, but you know, when she hears somebody sound that young, you'd be like, oh, okay, I wanna dance. Everybody. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. The song is addictive from the opening notes. Very street. I would say the most hip hop and fuse song on the album. Had no this rock edge to it, which is interesting. But cool thing is they kept the dance element with the. And I, what she just say? Do you want to see me down on my knees? I'm bending over backwards now. Would you be pleased? I'm not the others. I'll do anything. I have no shade. What? I just really love how she always just stay bossed up. I'm feeling it. Ooh. I'm about to listen to the 12 inch single. You guys are like, you're not done until you listen to this. Oh. Ooh. This already started off turnt that <laughs> The son that really gave you a glimpse of her ambition. Not only her ambition and confidence, but also her sensuality. Alright, so, I'm having y'all a moment of suspense here, a moment of suspense. So, really, we're about to go into the top three. But I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, the number one song, my number one song, is a song that didn't even make the album. Telling me bedtime stories is R&B. Yeah, this should have been on that first album. It's spinning right in with everybody. 
and uh, physical attraction. It, it got this. I, I love this song. I'm about to give this demo a 10, right? The demo. Because this song is slapping, man. I'm like, what? I just love everything about it. I like the whole. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you. You made my life much brighter, baby. <laughs> Don't you know, this demo is my favorite favorite song that was never on this album <laughs> was on the album would for sure be my number one there is no song on this album that made me dance from the jump like don't you know like the song was just so good oh yeah. Ooh, okay this fires nice hard rb ish to it madonna Kona check i'm getting tired waiting on you <laughs> soulful background that just sounds good and it's giving me kind of like borderline tease like borderline with a little more r&b video for this song uh, i could just see like young madonna and her young swag in my mind it could have been lit <laughs> a nice little r&b bob i mean i like the song from the start to finish now it without some of those sax breaks but i understand that was kind of hot at the time i guess in the 80s so mm. but today i'm like uh cut one of them out <laughs> but anyway y'all like this song i'm adding to the playlist a good effort from madonna now do it get 10 across the board for me 10 across the board um i don't know if i can give this 10 i don't know i don't know maybe like a strong eight strong seven but not 10 not 10 but it's good though bye guys <laughs> This song really had potential. I mean, I was still singing this song after the video ended. I was really impressed with Madonna's um, just hunger. Like, you could just hear in her voice. Like, she really wanted to. She was really selling this song. She really needed this song to go. And, yeah, I just like it. And not only that, the attitude. I'm getting tired. Waiting on you. <laughs> like, it was just really good. And also, just relatable. Alright, so... Number two. Uh, so, hmm, a lot that I noticed. So, for everybody, I've heard Physical Attraction. I heard Lucky Star. This song sounds a little bit more polished than those songs. I wonder, like, was the producer different for this song than others? Um... Cause it just sounded a little bit more polished, like it don't have that that street feel to it, like the other ones do, right? So, hmm, let's go. Ooh, see, y'all already know about the shot in the background. Borderline. And not only that, Madonna sounds real good. She don't sound as as young as she did on some of those early tracks. Cause I know instantly as soon as she started singing, I was like, oh wow, Madonna sound really young. But here. I didn't get that, right? So, I wonder, like, what was the lapse between this song and those other three songs I've heard? Because, again, she even sounds different. In a good way, too. I mean, I, I'm, I'm loving this song already. I'm already about to throw up tens across the board. Like, just from the, the, the start, that opening. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like, I love this song. It's just, like, a good kind of mid-tempo slow song um just the opening notes i love that ding, 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 ding. i dig it too i don't know it's just one of those songs that like instantly make you feel happy uh you know it's about to be like a good song and it has like this innocence to it too as well a word that's probably not really thrown around a lot with madonna but it just has this very innocent like cute vibe about it um and it's just such a relatable song. And not only that, the background slap. Borderline. Right? The whole song just slapped. So, Borderline would be my number two favorite song off the album. But my favorite video off the album. Right. Number one. If you haven't figured it out now, well, you might be kind of slow. But, <laughs> if you have figured it out, you probably are surprised. Like, huh? This is your favorite song off the album? But it is my number one song off of Madonna 1983 called Physical Attraction. Um, I always like any title with the word physical in it. That's a nice cover. I would have bought this album off the strength of the cover. All right, so let's go. Let's get into it. Madonna Physical Attraction. All 
Alright, so instantly, that's one of them beats that just got you, like, bobbing your head, like, like, it's just come on, making you bounce. Okay, let's go. Body. You know what I'm saying? That whoever you got your eye on, that's when you pull up on them. It's not like one of them type songs. All right, let's go. Whenever this dropped, Madonna just made me buy her record. Number one, boom, the album cover, boom. Like, okay, well, who is this girl? Then, not only that, you come on the track talking your talk, right? What? You confusing me. Let's go. Let me know what you want to do. Like, whoa, who is this girl, right? I, I want to hang out with her. Let's go. Alright, talking to her shit. I would have been like, oh, yeah, let me... Let me buy this, right? <laughs> Again, not like that, it just had like a cool, just a cool vibe to it. The background girls, shout out to them, right? They just gave her that extra, uh, physical, physical attraction. Ooh, you know what I mean? The song, I, it, to me, I'll get this on tens across the board. Honestly, I'm gonna put this on my Spotify playlist when I ride in my Peloton, you know what I mean? It sound like something that you can work out to and it's long enough too. So, <laughs> well, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Madonna, physical attraction at first album. Let's go. Now, let me tell you why. For a lot of reasons. So, the first reason why this song is my favorite song off of this album is because it's the song that I said, she just made me spend my money. There's no other song in this album that made me say, okay, boom, you got my money. Like, it's so, going back to how I described the album, right, it's so fresh, it's so ambitious, and it's so street. Um, especially, like I say in the title, when she start talking, though. When she start talking, right? You're confusing me. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I wasn't ready for it. But then when she started talking, it's very intriguing. I want to know more. Um, it's very sexy. It's very swag, right? You can tell that this is a girl who got a lot of sauce. Um, and she's just dripping in confidence, and it's the song that made me, actually, because I believe it's the first song I heard off of this album. So it's the song that made me, again, say I'll buy the record, but also, ooh, I want to hear more, ooh, I want to do this journey in chronological order. And not only that, it just sounds so fresh. Say, I just my and you want in my body, I don't mind. Baby, all I got is time. <laughs> right? Um, I really love how she sings the song. And again, it's just a song that I'll listen to all the time. It's a physical attraction. Like, it's a song that could be made today, given some tweaks, and still sound like very contemporary. Um, especially with her attitude, her style, her sauce. So, yeah, I really dig physical attraction. Like, that's. My bop on this album, uh, that's the one that's going to get played the most. So that rounds off my top 8 of 8 songs on the Madonna album. Now, y'all already know, I want to hear your thoughts, right? If you want to give me your rankings, go ahead. If you want to criticize my rankings, go ahead. <laughs> Drop me some comments below. You guys know I love to converse, uh, especially about... Madonna, so go ahead, drop some comments below. Um, also share this video if you will and subscribe. I hope everybody's out there feeling good and staying safe. And guess what? We finally about to get started on that. Like a virgin, ooh, the title, like a virgin, mm, virginal Madonna. Ooh, let's go. I can't wait to get into it. But hope you guys are coming along for this ride, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, if you're into reading, be sure to check out my books on Amazon. They're in paperback and ebook formats.